What is up everyone? My name is Mr. J and today I am bringing you another Digimatch. So obviously you guys can see this is the simulator that Digishan and other DigiTubers have been using. Honestly, I haven't gone in, I haven't gone to the water tower in Chicago in a while. Life has been busy, but I still get that itch from time to time to play Digimon. And honestly, the simulator, if you guys have been following my channel, I started with YouTube um, with Yu-Gi-Oh! So the dueling book, you know, that's where I started with Yu-Gi-Oh! And to come back to like a simulator similar to that, it's just, it's so nice to be able to play this in the comfort of your home and not even having to stream. So without further ado, I'm going to bring you today a match between Heavy Leoman, the Leoman deck versus Metal Edamon, both from EX5. I know BT16 is in a week from now, but I really like the simulator. If you guys like the simulator, you enjoy this video, please let me know in the comment section down below. But match starts now, so let's get into it. So I go first, I'm going to hatch the Freemon, Digivolve into the Lylemon, and then Digivolve into the Leomon. I hope I'm pronouncing the rookie's name correctly. He's going to go ahead and hatch the Pagumon. Thinking, oh, and he's going to play the Tai Kamiya, which means he's missing his rookie. Unfortunate. But with like the Metal Edamon deck, therefore, the level fours are actually like really cheap, right? So... I wonder if he's also missing a level four. Here, I don't mind playing the Davis. He's going to actually use the Edamon, which is the promo Edamon that I'm play or when Digivolving, D-Digivolves your opponent's Digimon by one, which is pretty good. I'm going to go straight back into Leomon. I decide to use Samada Santi. I am testing Samada Santi out in the deck over X Antibody. I actually do prefer Samada Santi. Because here, here, I love controlling the board, you know? So I can go ahead, swing into the Edamon, clear it off the board. It's actually very difficult to get rid of the level five. He could use a big option card, but why would he do that? The Fortitude is actually really underrated in the deck. I will say just from playing this matchup alone, they both have their strengths. Here, I'm going to swing a security draw card off the Freemon. Hits a Metal Edamon, so that means I will replay. Do not get any value off the Inheritables. And looks like I'm thinking about going to Lylemon. Leomon. There you go, Leomon. Also treated as Leomon. For two cost. And then here I decide to play the Electmon. Reveal top five. I'm not missing the level five. I wonder why I did that. I do have the heavy Leoman, but I think I just want the value of the heavy Leoman. So he's going to promote here. His level five that he had to digivolve in the raising area, probably already foreseen a heavy Leoman play. So he's going to swing at security, pop the Electmon, hits a agility training, plays the Sukumon for three. And that's not bad because that Edamon does have protection. He could just delete the Sukumon. It would be better if it was a Platinum Sukumon, but it's okay. Here I'm going to use the training D-Digivolve and then bottom deck the Sukumon. And yeah, I mean, that's a tough position to be in. You know, he he had to raise his Digimon. Very curious that I'm swinging Heavy Leo into the security and not over the Edamon. I think I'm trying to... Yeah, okay. Draw off the attack, pay two to Digivolve into Loader Leoman. I'll give it minus 3k, so it'll be, it'll be 4k. He plays out. Yeah, no. I disagree with that play. I think I should have swung over Edamon. And then when I Digivolve into Loader Leoman, that would have deleted the Chumon, gets replayed. If I make mistakes in the simulator, guys, look, it's a little... This is like my second match playing with this. It takes a while to get used to the controls. Like how to trash security, how to search for security. But from what I've played so far, I really like the simulator. It's a good way to practice at home. Did you guys see my, my username, Ray? So here I'm going to 
play final Zubagan punch swing for two checks hits an ultimate flare in security so i think he's yeah targeting the targeting the loader leoman very unfortunate also deletes the electmon that i brought up raising area i do get to restand it is for one more check okay and then he's gonna choose to block when i restand Here's very high rolly. He gets to replay the Edamon. I mean the Chumon. Reveal top five. He does get to play the Metal Edamon off the level five Edamon effect. And Metal Edamon is still going to get the pop effect. So he's actually going to delete the Davis because he definitely has a Sukumon and Trash. I don't think I've checked how much. He definitely doesn't have enough to beat the Yeah, I check here. Not enough to delete the heavy Leomon, obviously. But yeah, on play one Digivolve and gets to delete play cost of three. And then for every Digimon with Sukumon or Edamon, I'm pretty sure in the trash you add one. Is it Sukumon and Edamon? I'm pretty sure. Here I decide to hard play the Leomon. I just want to get another body on the board that isn't easily removable. So he's gonna raise the Chumon. I'm still at four security. I do get reboot off the final Zubagan punch. Now the Edamon's kind of a problem because he can force the redirect. Okay, so play Chumon, reveal top three. He gets to add one, trash the rest. And I don't know, I think I should have blocked the Chumon. He's gonna go into Sukumon for two. Go into Edamon. He's going to force the Leomon to attack. That's not a bad play. That's actually really good. So I have to attack after hatching. And I believe he's going to use the Metal Edamon effect. I do get to actually use the one attacking effect though. So Grab Leomon is going to Digivolve, bottom deck the Chumon. He's going to use the Metal Edamon effect. We'll see what he places. It's actually a little frustrating because I it, it feels like he's been at zero security for a while now. But he really high rolled that level 5 Edamon, didn't he? Alright, so he's gonna redirect to Edamon. So Grab Leomon will get deleted. I will de digivolve the level 5. And actually, that works out in my favor, right? Because I can attack, hit a Metal Edamon, and then I will bottom deck the Sukumon. All right, all right. Oh, and I have the the Omnimon here. Looks like I'm gonna go into Omnimon, leave him at four, delete, and then all Sukas and all Edamons. For sure the Sukas, I want them away, yeah. <laughs> Obviously the EX5 Metal Edamon is probably the best card in the deck. It actually looks really badass too, so. All right, accidentally hatches another Pagu. So he admitted defeat. We're going to go into game two. So for game two, he's going to choose to go first. Chumon, then Sukumon in the back. Not bad. Here I have Terriermon. I'm testing out the Terriermon because I saw the, the top seven list, right? Top eight list. I think it was seventh place from Oceania. And nah, bro. I don't think I like the Terriermon. Before, I used to have the Hawkmon. And I see some people play the Salamon, but I think the Hawkmon's better because it searches all your level fives. And your heavy Leomon, which is the best card in the deck. Here, he's going to add one of the Edamons, trash the rest off the Sukumon. Those Chumons coming back is actually really annoying. Leaves me and my three. Okay. So just debating into which Leomon to go into. So is it Leomon or Leomon? Okay, choose to go into Leomon for three. I will attack, draw a card, use the effect for two costs, go into Loader Leomon. Loader Leomon will delete the Platinum Sukumon. 
Sukumon will de-digivolve Lotor Leomon, but I still have enough DP to run over the Sukumon. The Chumon gets played out, and then he gets to add a card, trash the rest. But yeah, I, I don't know, that Chumon coming back, it's, it's really annoying. I think in that case, like, did I already have the Grab Leomon in my hand? Oh, because if I had the Grab Leomon in my hand, I think it would have been better just a bottom deck. Attack security and bottom deck. The one with the inheritables. Edamon here will de digivolve the Leomon. Very annoying. Missing a rookie, I did draw an Elecmon. Hopefully, I remember to digivolve in the back before I pass turn. It looks like I'm not. I'm going to draw a card. Digivolve for two. Draw. And again, in situations like this, is where I really, really wish I had the Samada Santi. Suspend the Edamon. Yeah, that sucks. I don't have anything in the back. He's going to go ahead and go into Platinum Sukumon, run into the Grap Leomon to de digivolve it, replay the Chumon. I think he added a card off Pagumon, and then Edamon swing over. And then go into Metal Edamon for three, right? I cost three, right? Yeah, there you go. Delete the Davis. Yeah, the Metal Edamon effect to delete Tamers is busted. There's not that many cards that have that effect, right? So deleting Tamers is always good, especially when it gives you the option. It's kind of like Black War Greymon. Alright, so I'm going to play another Davis here, get the Grap Leomon. Am I missing a level 4? Yeah, I'm missing a level 4. That's why I did that. The Oceania list. Am I pronouncing that correct? That list that got 7th place, it was only running 4 or 8 level 4s. So I'm only running the level 4s from EX5. I don't know how to feel how I feel about that because as you guys see right now, I am struggling with no level 4. But obviously these are the best level 4s in the deck. I do like the Leomon that gets to warp. That one's not bad. I might put it back into the deck, to be honest. And I am still missing the level 4. Here, the Elecmon will give me the Leomon. I'll put everything to the bottom of the deck. I noticed that, yeah, the Metal Edamon here, great board control. Swing at security, hits a Leomon. Swings with the Edamon. If the Edamon gets deleted, there's a chance. Oh, he's going to go into Metal Edamon, delete Davis again. Perfect, perfect. Go into Platinum Suka. It's interesting he didn't delete the... No, I think deleting Davis there was good, so... One less memory to work with could make a difference. Where's my level 4 at? I think I'm searching... Okay, there you go. Leomon. Okay, the training into Grap Leo, I guess I didn't want to use the effect to reduce it by 2. I do have to be careful with that because the Metal Edamon can redirect it. Right, so if he has the Yellow Edamon in hand, he'll force me to check that in security. And if he has 3 Sukas, at least 3 Sukas in trash, he could potentially play another level 6 for free. And then go into Heavy Leomon. Unfortunately not able to get rid of his body. Yeah, I'm just checking. I did have a Samada Santi. I wonder if I could have Santied. That probably would have saved me this game. Yeah, because I did have the Samada Santi in hand. So I think I throw away game two. Not throw away. I think I will, that was definitely a losing battle. Moving on to game three. I do make him go first. I like the extra card. Going to Leoman. Play the Lyle, Lyleman. Check my security. So I do have a bomb in there, just a Samara Santi. He's gonna promote his Digimon. Go into Edamon. Go into Metal Edamon. Uh, that's not good. 
Okay, so he gets his choice. He's going to play the new Edamon, and then that'll give minus 3k to my rookie there. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's a little worrisome. He already has a level 6 on board. That Metal Edamon is kind of a vanilla, but it's really good if you're planning to go wide board. So going to grab Leo here. Nothing to bottom deck. If I did digivolve his heavy Leo, uh, with the heavy Leo, yeah, there's not much I can do here. Play Terrier Mon Pass. Chumon in the back. Swing over. I'm going to deep digivolve the metal because that's all I have. And then probably minus 2k, it doesn't really matter in this situation. Actually, you know what? It does matter. But it's not enough. Because the Grap Leo on play gets a bottom deck something. You know, I just noticed if Grap Leo has both yellow sources under and it gets deleted, it could bottom deck a level 5 potentially. Metal Edamon here will delete the Terrier Mon. I also think that instead of Terrier Mon, maybe Pokemon would be a better card. So here I go into Heavy Leo. DD Evolve Metal Edamon. And I also think that was the wrong decision. I should have DD Evolved the level 5 and then bottom deck the Platinum Sukumon. Mr. J, bro, you're a little rusty. You're a little rusty. That promo Edamon to DD Evolve the Heavy Leomon, yeah, that's a pretty busted card. I actually prefer, I do like the new Edamon, the promo Edamon over King Sukumon. I think King Sukumon's literally poop. You know, he turns he turns Digimon into poop, but I think he's poop himself, obviously. Literally and figuratively. Davis gets played. But yeah, I have to clear his board somehow. I, I think the only rough thing about this deck is that Heavy Leoman is a four cost, which will usually pass turn. I have Samada Santi. Nah, bro. No. Suspend Platinum Suka here, and then I guess delete Platinum Suka. But couldn't I have attacked with Loader Leo? I could have attacked with the Grab Leoman into Platinum Suka. Nothing would have happened. I could have Samada Santi to keep one of those Digimon suspended. And then do what I just did here. D Digivolve the Edamon, bottom deck the other Platinum Suka. I think the Heavy Leo should be. No, it's not suspended. Gonna swing at security. Oh, was I worried about the level 5 inheritable, the Edamon effect? I wonder if I missed that this match. He's going to target the heavy Leo with the EX5 Edamon effect. And yeah, it's looking bleak. You would think that the old Edamon is not good, the metal Edamon, but it's actually putting to work here. And then again, here he's going to play the King Edamon. I am forced to attack. It is minus 3k DP, so the heavy Leomon will get deleted when the King dies, uh, when the King blocks. And yeah, I surrender. <laughs> so I did lose that one. 2-1, two, 2-1. One, two, one. Um, these are two of my favorite decks, though, so I'm, I'm glad to see the metal, metal, the metal Edamon deck, you know, in action. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. Probably will do a couple of these in the future until I get back on my feet and go to the locals. See you again. But anyways, hope you guys like the uh, video. I think next I didn't get an extra match, so it's actually Gallimon versus Metal Edamon. Stay tuned for that one. But yeah, if you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. My name is Mr. J. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.